no matter what you are going through always remember there is a light at the end of the tunnel namaskar friends welcome to next is i hope you are doing well in this video we are going to discuss important species jo ki abhi recently news mein thi and they are also relevant for upsc so without wasting any time let's start today's discussion with raccoon dogs it was in the news because newly released genetic data gathered from the food market in wuhan has linked covid-19 with raccoon dogs this is the image of raccoon dog now let's learn more facts related to raccoon dogs so friends they are members of canid family which is a group that also includes domestic dogs and raccoon dogs are closely related to foxes they are the only canids that hibernate during the winter they are monogamous often living in pairs now let's look at their food habits so friends they are omnivores dining on sources like rodents and berries now let's look at their distribution pattern so friends they are native to east asia including parts of china korea and japan where they are known as tanuki they have also become widespread in parts of europe where they are considered as invasive species they are sometimes hunted as pests they are sold for meat and fur and they are listed as least concern in the iucn red list of threatened species now what are the research and experiments associated with raccoon dogs so friends laboratory experiments have shown that raccoon dogs are susceptible to and capable of transmitting the novel corona virus but that does not mean that they are natural reservoir for the virus now friends let's know about eurasian otter it was in the news because recently an eurasian otter caught in the infrared camera along the neeru stream in jammu and kashmir and do you know friends neeru is a tributary of chenab river and eurasian otter is a semi aquatic carnivorous mammal as you can see here this is the image of eurasian otter now let's learn more facts related to otters so friends otters are mammals of the family mustelidae with seven genera and 13 species they are found on every continent except australia and antarctica the eurasian otter covers the largest range of any paleoarctic mammal covering parts of three continents and these are europe asia and africa the species is persecuted as pest in countries such as india china and nepal and its populations have declined due to hunting for food and pelt habitat loss pollution and climate change it is classified as near threatened on the iucn red list and it is regarded as flagship species and indicator of high quality aquatic habitats and its presence is encouraging for the health of neeru stream now what is paleoarctic region so friends it is a zoo geographical region comprising eurasia north of himalayas together with north africa and temperate part of arabian peninsula now friends let's know about sparrow it was in the news because every year march 20 is celebrated as world sparrow day to raise awareness about sparrow conservation and protection as their numbers are declining globally and do you know friends world sparrow day is a joint initiative by the india based nature forever society in collaboration with france based ecosis action foundation and other national and international organizations across the world and first commemoration of the day occurred in 2010 and this year's theme is i love sparrows which emphasizes the role of individuals and communities in sparrow conservation now let's learn more facts related to sparrow so friends it is a member of the genus passer they are small passerine birds that belong to the family passeridae the genus has about 30 species around the world and the best known of these is the house sparrow now let's learn about house sparrow so friends its scientific name is passer domesticus as you can see here it is a small brown colored bird not bigger than a tennis ball with black streaks on its back house sparrow is a social species found in groups of 8 to 10 chirping and chattering to communicate with each other it is known to nest in buildings finding crevices holes in walls or at best using the bird house and nest boxes put out by humans in their gardens it is widespread across the world inhabiting every continent except antarctica china and japan it is native to eurasia and north africa and major threats faced by house sparrow are habitat destruction pollution caused by microwave towers and pesticides it is listed as least concern species on the iucn red list and in 2012 the house sparrow was declared as the state bird of new delhi as a part of a massive campaign to save and raise awareness about the species now what are the importance of sparrows so friends they are known to be indicator of region's environmental health and their decreasing number are cause for concern right now friends let's know about vultures it was in the news 
because recently more than 240 vultures spotted in the first ever synchronized survey in Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka. Now let's learn more facts related to vultures. So friends, they are one of the 22 species of large carrion eating birds that live mostly in tropics and subtropics. They act as nature's garbage collectors and they play a valuable role in keeping wildlife diseases in check. India is home to 9 species of vultures and these are Oriental White-backed Vulture which is critically endangered in the IUCN Red List. Next is slender billed Vulture which is critically endangered. Then long billed Vulture which is also critically endangered. And next is Egyptian Vulture which is endangered in the IUCN Red List. And the fifth is Red-headed Vulture which is also critically endangered. Sixth is Griffon Vulture which is least concerned. Next is Himalayan Griffon, which is near threatened. Eighth is Cinerous Vulture, which is near threatened. And last is Bearded Vulture, which is also near threatened. Bearded, long billed slender billed and Oriental White-backed are protected in the Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 and rest are protected under Schedule 4. Now let's look at the threats faced by the vultures. And these are use of diclofenac and pesticides were also major cause of mortality, lack of nesting trees, electrocution by power lines, food dearth and contaminated food. And do you know friends, diclofenac is a veterinary drug used for pain management in livestock. Now what are the conservation efforts for protection of vultures? So friends, Ministry for Environment, Forest and Climate Change launched a vulture action plan 2022-2025 for the conservation of vultures in the country. And next is establishment of vulture conservation and breeding centers, which is a joint project of Haryana Forest Department and the Bombay Natural Society to save three species of vultures. And these are white-backed, long-billed and slender-billed from looming extinction. And government played a crucial role in getting the veterinary use of diclofenac banned in the country in 2008. Let's know about horseshoe crabs. They were in the news because horseshoe crabs appear to be disappearing from their familiar spawning grounds in Odisha. Therefore, scientists have urged the Odisha government to immediately come up with a robust protection mechanism before horseshoe crabs become extinct due to destructive fishing practices. Now, let's learn more facts related to horseshoe crabs. So, friends, they are marine and brackish water arthropods of the family Limulidae and they are the only living members of the order Zephosaura. Four living species of horseshoe crabs are Limulus folifemus, the Atlantic or American horseshoe crab found along the Atlantic coast of United States and Southeast Gulf of Mexico, the trispine horseshoe crab, the coastal horseshoe crab and the mangrove horseshoe crab found in coastal waters of India, Southeast Asia, China and Japan. They are one of the oldest living creatures on the earth and they have been around more than 300 million years making them even older than dinosaurs. They look like prehistoric crabs, but they are actually more closely related to scorpions and spiders. As you can see here, this is the image of horseshoe crab. Horseshoe crab has hard exoskeleton and 10 legs, which it uses for walking along the sea floor. Female horseshoe crabs are about one third larger than males. Now let's look at the habitat and distribution of horseshoe crabs. So friends, they utilize different habitats depending upon their stage of development and the maximum density of horseshoe crabs is found along the Odisha coast and Balasore used to be the largest spawning ground. Now what's the medicinal use of horseshoe crabs? So friends, their bright blue blood is used to test vaccines, drugs, medical devices, to ensure that they are not contaminated with dangerous bacterial toxins. Therefore, it has been essential for testing the safety of biomedical products since 1970s when it replaced the rabbit testing. Now, let's look at the threats associated with them. So friends, the population of the blue blood crabs is decreasing and after 10 years, there will not be any horseshoe crabs in India. Over harvesting for use as food, bait, and biomedical testing and because of habitat loss from coastal reclamation and development. Shoreline alterations that are engineered to protect beaches from erosion and sea level rise due to climate change also affect their spawning habitats. Now let's look at the conservation status. So friends, American horseshoe crab is listed as vulnerable to extinction and trispine horseshoe crab is classified as endangered on the IUCN red list of threatened species and horseshoe crabs are listed under Schedule 4 of the Indian Wildlife Protection Act 1972. So with this, let's sum up today's discussion. Thanks for listening. Be happy. Be nice.